I just got stung by a f***ing bat, right? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, the barb is in there. Oh. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back out on the kayak this morning, back out in the South Bay. It's about 7 a.m. and high tide is in about an hour. I'll be fishing for halibut this morning. I'm looking for a keeper halibut, hopefully. As for my rig, I won't go into it in super specific detail. If you want to know how it works, please check out my last halibut video up there. But the basic principle is i got this six ounce sinker over there it's gonna be bouncing along the bottom and over here i got a halibut rig with this sliding snail knot so that allows me to put different size baits on there uh enough of that let's get the bait on here and let's start drifting all right so for my bait i'm using these anchovies and i actually brined them uh yesterday to make them more firm and i just left them there overnight but i used the brine by Mumu Outdoors. So I will link his uh, video on brine down below and I'll actually also include uh, the recipe for the brine just because it's really helpful in keeping these anchovies nice and perky throughout a whole morning of fishing. Otherwise they can come apart, they can become pretty mushy and become a little unfishable. So it's, it's really important to keep them nice. But bam, there you go. There's our anchovy, got it has that nice little slight bend so it spins in the water gonna look like an injured bait fish which it is technically it's a dead bait fish but it's gonna look alive so we'll throw it down there see if there's any halibut around see if any of them are biting let's go all right i'm gonna start off the morning drifting i'm gonna drop my bait down coming down all right that's 14 feet of water 14, 15 feet of water. I'll give it a little more, more line. We'll put this here. Now, we're gonna wait and see if a halibut picks us up. I'm gonna start trolling now. Real light, two, two and a half miles an hour just to get my bait spinning because there's not a lot of current out here today. So I'm gonna, gonna need to troll just a bit to give it that little extra action. Make it a little more enticing for those halibut, so. It's the light troll. I can see see my bait bouncing up and down, just hitting the bottom where those fish are hiding because they're completely flat fish. Remember, they're these predators. And when something goes near them, boom, they come out of the sand like aliens and just swallow it. I really want a halibut today. Oh my God, that's a fish on. That's a fish on. Oh my God, there's a big fish on. I got a big fish on. Oh, this is, this is a halibut, this is for a shark keeper. Look at that line, look at that line, look at that line. No, is it off? No, it's not off. Oh, it's towing my kayak. I'm literally getting towed. Come on. Oh, oh, this is a big fish. Big fish on, big fish on. Oh, it's hugging the bottom. Oh, more line, more line. Gotta tire this guy out. Oh my God, look at that rod bend. My rod is literally bending into the water. Come on, what is it? Should be up here. Is this a stingray? Did I hook a stingray? I hooked a stingray. God damn. Ooh, I've been running into these guys a lot lately. Jeez, I was gonna say that is a big halibut. Wow! There's a stingray though. Ooh, got me excited. Still such a cool fight. Oh, big runs. This guy does not want to go. Woo! Bat ray, baby bring this guy up I think I'm just gonna grab him with my hand hey, hey, hey. let's get this guy in here There we go. Ooh. All right. Ooh. There we go. 
that's a nice little surprise catch. Bat Ray on the kayak while fishing for a halibut. Uh, there we go. Wow, look at, got a good view of that. This guy's trying to sting me. Not gonna let him. Ooh. Look at that. It's one big chunky bat right. Oh, look. Oh no. Oh. I just got stung. I just got stung. Okay, on three. One, two. I just got stung by a f***ing bat, right? Ah. Ah. Oh, the barb is in there. Ah. Gotta be careful when you're handling them on a kayak. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, hey Siri, how do you remove a stingray barb from your arm? Here's what I found. <sighs> oh! Uh, I still want to release this guy as fast as possible. This was my fault. <sighs> that barb is really not budging. Ah. Ah. No, no. Ah. 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 Okay, the barb snapped off. Let's release this guy. Ah. Oof, guys, I still got part of the barb in there. I'm gonna go to the hospital. Stay tuned though, there'll be more coming. Like and subscribe, thank you. Call puppy. Hey guys, welcome back. In case you were wondering, I did make it. I'm all good. I'm back home. After what you just saw, I got, well, I had to row like half a mile back to the kayak uh, launch with a stingray tail like sticking out of my arm. And I got to the hospital, got it taken care of. They basically just had to fillet my arm a little bit and just take it out manually. You can see I got three stitches right there because they just cut it cut it open but it's all good as an added little bonus i got to keep my stingray tail so that's that's the bright side i guess you can see still got some of my blood and tissue on there so you can see real close up there you can see how it's serrated so this thing goes in and does not come out i promise i was pulling on that thing i was trying to I even try to get it out the way I would uh, a hook that got stuck in me. So put it in a little more, pull it out a little more. I couldn't do it. The doctors couldn't do it. They just had to cut it open. But yeah, basically what happens is this thing is coated in venom. And bat rays venom doesn't actually, it's not, it's not harmful to humans. It just hurts a ton. So I, when I was going back, my fingers were getting a little numb. So I was, I was a little worried. But again, I already said this. Gotta say it again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video more than I enjoyed making it. Guys, hit that like button, comment, share it with everyone. Hopefully you will never see another video like this from me, but 
you never know. Stay tuned.